24th Street Improvement Project will remain on hold for now. Good evening, I'm Jackie Parks. And I'm Tim Callahan. Tonight, City Council moved forward with the decision to have staff recertify the environmental impact report for that widening project. As you may recall, back in July, a Kern County Superior Court judge sided with residents who sued the city, saying the EIR needed more work. Well, tonight, one council member is still putting up a fight against that project. Then 23 ABC's Gracie Aguilar is in our live center now to tell us more about what went on tonight. Gracia. Tim Jackie Terry Maxwell, who represents downtown Bakersfield, continues to stand his ground, saying the improvement project is unnecessary. He says our tax dollars should be going toward other projects and road repair. It's a back and forth battle with no end in sight. Everybody at this point seems to call it the 24th Street Widening Project. The 24th Street Improvement Project was brought up during City Council yet again Wednesday, Wednesday night. Yeah. This time for council members to agree on redoing an environmental impact report that was used to okay the project. The court found that the EIR did not adequately explain enough about why the eight potentially feasible alternatives were not studied as actual project al alternatives and that, again, the EIR should have done a better job of incorporating the cul-de-sac into the project description. In July, a Kern County Superior Court judge found that the EIR that was previously approved did not meet state requirements. The judge ordered the city to go back and rework the environmental report. This, in turn, has halted work on the widening of 24th Street. The court is saying, I want you to go back and I want you to look at it again and I want you to put more meat to the bones. Tonight, Council Member Terry Maxwell, who has been against the project, brought up his concerns once more. When you're taking out a whole row of historic homes, that's not uh, exactly a little bit of damage. If you were to restripe it and if you need to widen it a little bit, you could do that. That wouldn't take out any homes, so you see that causes less environmental impact. Currently, 24th Street is used by 60,000 cars on an average day. Maxwell believes funding the Hageman flyover would take 14,000 cars off 24th Street and decrease congestion. I'm trying to save the city of Bakersfield $30 million because that's the construction cost. If we instead roll that money into doing Hageman flyover, which we're going to do anyway, then we could save that money and we could use it either doing the Hageman flyover if we can't find any other funds for that or we might be able to use that $30 million to improve our streets. Now, city staff will rework parts of the EIR to meet state requirements. After that, it will go back to the judge for review. Now, this process could take over a year. In the Life Center, Gracia Aguilar, 23ABC.